What's up guys, Middle Age Gamer here, and we are playing Railway Empire today. It's been a long time since I've done any streaming or recording, so I'm pretty excited about this. Starting off with YouTube and a new video series on this game. Highly, highly recommend this game. I'm not going to do a review on it by any means, uh, but again, Railway Empire is made by Calypso Media, I believe. I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but they also made games like Omerta, Port Royale. Um, they made the Tropico series, which is a pretty good game if you haven't played that. So go out there and support them. They're not AAA classics by any means, but we need to keep these style games going before they're gone, so to speak. And so the, the last game I played like this was probably Transport Fever. I think this one is a lot more polished than that game offhand. Um, it's what Sid Meier's um, Railroads or Railway game should have been a while back, in my opinion. Anyways, we're going to do the campaign from start to finish, and if you're watching this video, I'm only getting the President's Medal. So there's a whole bunch of different levels, I think 15 or 20 different levels. The very top award you can get is called the President's Medal, so I will show you how to do that. Obviously, the very first scenario is kind of a tutorial. Relatively easy to get the President's Medal. I'm not going to do advanced techniques, so to speak, but I will show you how to set up your basic stations with uh, dual tracks and single tracks, depending on the... Uh, the scenario and where we're going but let's go ahead and get into campaign and you can see i already got the president's medal so if you beat the scenario you can still move on i think it gives you like a silverish medal right here um, but this is obviously the president's medal which is the highest you can get so we're going to go ahead and redo chapter one of the game i'm actually on chapter three as you can see uh but i haven't made any videos i just, I just started playing i was like well i should go back and do some videos of this before we get going anyways let's we'll start off with chapter one and you can see it says completed as president. So even on the scenarios of the game, it will tell you what you completed it as. And it's pretty fun. You can actually go back and replay the scenarios to get a better ranking. Um, and some of the scenarios are quite hard if you haven't played them as of yet. Just FYI. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we've got normal, manual, or trainiac. We're just going to do normal, obviously. The one thing I don't like about the campaign is, as far as I know, you can't change the character. I've obviously already beaten the scenario or the, the campaign mission, and I still can't change it. So maybe when you beat the whole campaign, you can go back and replay it. But neither here or there. I don't like using the industrial list. Each character has their own pros and cons. Obviously, the auctions are 50% more expensive as his con. Newly constructed factories are 50% cheaper for him, um, which will, you know, take part later on in the game. Not so much in this mission, per se. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, Middle-Aged Gamer, we'll keep the name the same because we can't change it, so we're Union Pacific Railroad. Let's go ahead and get going. And we'll watch a short video real quick. of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. And it's cool how they have like little intro videos. I think it's pretty neat. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a master stroke of modern engineering to be accomplished to tame the wilderness. I'll give you guys an update on what's going on in my life here in a little bit as well, but I want to get into the game first. I know a lot of you guys haven't seen a video out in a long, long time. At least it's train related though. Greetings. My name is Okay, so here's the first part of the tutorial. Exactly. The head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> First, you should familiarize yourself with So basically just going to move controls. the controls around to follow what he says. Directions. Now test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate it's actually cool you can do this kind of thing when you zoom down a little bit more you can kind of aim how you want to view it task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest both cities will need a station for this 
You already have a station in Omaha, but you still so it tells you what to do. Basically, go into building construction. We're going to go ahead and build a small train station. Put it right in the middle. Very good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track construction mode. And building tracks relatively easy. You just want to make sure that you don't have any bridges or tunnels unless you absolutely need them. Obviously, it's 0% grade. The tutorial is pretty easy or the first mission is relatively easy. Now create your first train so that you can set up the rail line between your stations. Okay, let's wait till it goes on to the next one. So I gotta set up a train. Initially, go to manage train and then just buy a train. Exit out and then you set up your rail line. So you just click each station and then close it out. And you can see the first train is gonna load up here in Omaha. It's loading up meat, which is processed here. Very good. Now you can see the journey your train will take. If there is something to try there's some pretty cool features of this you can center on the train and follow it but you can also view it in this mode which is pretty neat i won't be doing a whole lot of that because i'm gonna be trying to make as much money as possible but it's pretty neat if you got the time so next thing is supply towers on each portion of track you definitely want to put one of these very good the train is now traveling between Omaha and North. And it will stop there as but needed. Do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Look, there is a corn farm near Omaha. Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way, but we want to change that. Now construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. Okay. Now connect the new rural Basically connecting the corn the farm to Omaha. And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track. Which is a problem, Omaha obviously. Pretty of easy course, to overcome. This will then result in a conflict. Since trains cannot travel through each other, you'll need a sidetrack between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. First, create a side track. It needs to be at And I could technically just do double tracks track. all the way down. I'm going to follow the tor the tutorial like it wants me to though. However, your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. And this we'll get into more signaling now, here in just a minute, but mode and set up a signal in the highlighted area pointing in the direction of the switch. I'm trains holding shift while doing this, otherwise it'd be a regular signal. Holding speed. shift makes it a one-way track. Now do the same on the parallel track so that each parallel track has a different direction. Place a second signal in the highlighted area and block the track to trains coming from the opposite direction. Very good. I'm sure that it wasn't at all easy. You will soon come to... Just trying to get this from blinking is all I'm doing. ...aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. You will find more information and tips under hints. So get you going, but not a whole lot of info. I think that's now it. assemble a new oh, train maybe not. And give it a locomotive and a rail line. Your new rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk so that the people of Norfolk can be supplied with corn. So buy another train and then very important you do it in this order. If you just run it from Evans Farm to Norfolk, it won't let you pass this portion of the tutorial, so don't forget about that. Automatically make use of your train because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. You can see it loading up the corn right there. Much more costly for the farm. We are still missing something. Locomotives wear out over time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Yep. 
just what he said. Such a maintenance building at and your click this button to construct a maintenance to this, building. The station itself and expand the station with this building. Right. Now this is really what we have to do right here, which we'll go into in a minute. I need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Uh, I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. So we gotta connect Do Omaha to North Plate and Omaha to Cheyenne. Which I guess is over here to the left. So North Plate and Cheyenne right there. Let's go ahead and do North Plate because it has a huge bonus on it. So I'm just gonna do the small train station for now. I'll upgrade this here in a little bit. And then let's run the track. You're making progress. And then just for now, I'm going to put a signal outside the station. Not a one-way signal, just a regular signal. Same thing back and forth. And then we're going to run. Let's see, do we have... Okay, we have the supply tower there already. Need a new train, which we'll go ahead and do. And we'll run it from North Plate to Norfolk. And then let's go ahead and connect Cheyenne, which is on the list right there as well, because it has a $550,000 bonus, which is huge. And again, we'll expand all this here in a little bit. I'm not really showing you guys any good techniques as of yet, but we'll get into it, like I said. So you want to run it. So you have the minimum incline as possible. So it's 1% throughout, which is fine. Not, it's not too bad. Same thing, we're gonna do signals on each side. In Washington get on one's nerves. But now let's get back to your tasks. As you can see, Cheyenne is still a little town hoping for an upswing caused by the railroad connection. But a city will only attract new inhabitants if it is supplied with enough goods. Cities receive basic goods from the surrounding area. If you construct stations in the right places and establish rail lines, your trains will be used to transport goods and you will make profits for transportation. But for this, you have to know what goods a city actually needs. So to get President's Medal, you have to complete all the tasks in half time, which is very, very needs. important that you kind of go in order as needed. And keep in mind, some of the tasks down here may actually have an earlier year than some of the ones up here. But either way, we're going to kind of do this in order, so to speak. So it wants us to look at the city information to see what the city needs. Obviously, it needs grain, uh, corn, wood, meat, and beer. it will demand further goods. At the moment, you can supply grain and wood. Both of these goods are available to the north of Cheyenne. Connect Cheyenne to a timber business and a wheat farm and establish a new rail line that connects them both to Cheyenne. So let's go ahead and do that. In fact, we're going to use the bigger station for this to hopefully get both. Uh, nope, can't do that. If we use a large one, we can get both, but that's kind of overkill in my opinion. So let's see. Let me try the 100,000 one again. I guess we could use a large one, it's 200,000. Otherwise, I've got to build 80,000 and connect it. This is a little bit of overkill, but we got cities up here. Plenty of other stuff to connect to. Hmm, let's go ahead and do it. And then I'm going to go ahead and expand this station, which means you click on this right here. I'm going to go ahead and add a maintenance building here as well. And let's see here. Do we have a supply tower here? I don't think we do. This is where it makes me want to kind of run dual tracks. Yeah, 
and trying to figure out the best way to run the tracks pretty important. In fact, let's run, I'm going to do something different. I want to run dual tracks down here first. Which could be considered a waste of money, but... And then let's upgrade this guy. I'm going to show you how you guys are basically how to do dual tracks between stations. So basically make sure you always run the tracks like this. And again, this is pretty basic right here compared to what you get into down the road. But this is a pretty good technique for starting off. Don't need that. Let's use these two tracks. So that one would be going... I'm trying to do this mentally because it's been a while since I've played. Okay, so... I'm going to try to avoid that mountain a little bit if I can. And then I'm going to swing this like this. Go. I'm going to show you how to run the signals here in a minute, which is very, very important. And if we run out of money, we're going to pull bonds out, which I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. It's probably overkill for now, but it won't be in a little bit. And then from here, let's see. Let's see if it'll let me do that or not. I don't think it will. Nope. So, there we go. Again, it makes it pretty easy to do, or they make it pretty easy to do the track layout, which is good. Some games like this, it's a nightmare to figure out how to lay tracks. So we're going to make one ways. Oops, let me switch to, there we go. And that should have been a one way. There we go. Much better. And we're going to do a supply tower up here. You can see we're running out of money very quickly. But we'll alleviate that. Alleviate that. And I think, honestly, it may even give you money if you run out, but I'm not going to try to do that quite yet. I promise you guys this will end up being a good scenario. Just trust me. I know it doesn't look too great or too great right now. So I gotta do all these signals. There we go. I'm just lay the rest out here. You can make them closer together. You can spread them out a little bit more. It's not going to make much of a difference. You should try to make them a little bit closer together as you get closer to the train stations themselves. I think that train's going to get stuck, too, the way we have everything laid out, unfortunately. Hopefully it doesn't just freeze up, which I think it's going to. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it'll get there. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is go into company. We'll talk about this more in detail down the road. I'm going to pull a bond for 291 Again, if you run out of money, it'll probably give you more funds, I'm assuming. But we're going to run both wood and and grain, more importantly grain because it, it makes beer here in Cheyenne down there. So right here to Cheyenne, I'm going to make sure it's stopping on there which is fine. And you can see that the path it takes is outlined in orange right there. I'm just going to add the locomotive. We kind of did it backwards. Usually I buy the well, locomotive and then do the line. The city will soon grow. You can see how well it is being supplied at any time in the city dialogue. Basically, a city will grow once its demands are sufficiently met. I think you have learned enough. 
Complete the rest of your tasks. All right, so very, very important. Let's go ahead and head to the next task. We need to deliver 16 loads of cattle to Denver. I might have not planned on this being a loss-making business, which is where is Denver at? Last time. Did I read that right? Yeah, 16 loads of cattle to Denver. Do I have Denver in, as one of my stations? No. So where is Denver at? Told you it's been a while since I played this scenario. Billings, Casper, Rock Springs, Grand Junction. Am I confused here? Dodge City. Oh, Denver's right here. So we're gonna go ahead and connect Denver to Cheyenne to start on the next task. And then we do have a ranch out here to deliver the cattle. So we're gonna go ahead and do a regular train station for now. Again, it may be upgraded down the road. And which way you orientate this is pretty important because if you expand it, it's gonna to expand to the right instead of the left. So I may get it wrong. Again, I haven't played this in a while, but I'm gonna connect this to Cheyenne with dual tracks. Something's wrong. Let's see what's going on. Try that and that, there we go. Kind of a harder turn than it normally goes. And then again, just run it down here. What's going on? Uh, see, we wanted to avoid building that bridge right there. It helps out on the incline, but you waste a lot of money doing that. So definitely try to avoid that if possible. So that's not working, this bin. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it and redo it. We'll get rid of that. Luckily, when you delete something like that, it does give you your money back, which is kind of important. There we go. I'm going to be more careful on running the track. If I can avoid doing the bridge and keep it at 2% would be nice. There we go. Oh, wrong side. There we go. Same thing on the other side, we'll just run it up here. It should automatically copy the track. And again, on both sides, very important to go ahead and do this for the time being. Again, there's much more advanced techniques down the road with the larger train stations that have signaling systems, which we might get into later in this scenario. There we go. So as always, we need a supply tower put it right in the middle and then we're going to do our signaling which takes just a little bit of time and again if you guys have any suggestions you're more than welcome to post them in the comments below and I can use them on future scenarios just because I'm doing this is not necessarily the best route to go I could simply start building my business up over here in Omaha and make it work as well. I'm just trying to knock out the task as quickly as possible because it does count towards your score. Okay, there we go. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and run the train. This one will run from Denver to Cheyenne. And more importantly, we wanna get to Kelly Ranch. Is there anything closer? Not really, we don't wanna run all the way down the line. So Kelly Ranch is gonna be important. I'm gonna start with a small train station for this one since we are running out of funds. I'm gonna run it to this side for now. Again, we will expand this here in just a minute, but let's go ahead and get a train going first, and let's see if we can pull another bond because we're running low on money. Yep, pull one more bond out, continue our expansion early in the game. Do need a supply tower, And then I'm actually going to run I'm going to do 
dual tracks and upgrade this. I could do away with just doing two side or basically two tracks all the way down and keep it as it is, but I'm going to go ahead and do it the right way. This is going to make quite a bit of money running this line of cattle to Denver and then Denver will supply the rest of the cities that need meat with the meat or processed meat I should say. So let's upgrade the station. Let's run track down. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete this little junction right there. And we're going to do the, exactly the same thing we did on the other stations with parallel tracks. Same thing over here. And I got to do the signaling, which takes just a little bit of time as always. Perfect. And what I try to do is I try to... Oh, where'd the train go? I think it freaked out because I, I changed things up. So it was running on the wrong track and basically had to restart, which is fine. It will just take a while to make some money. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this train. Except... When this comes back to Kelly Ranch, I'm going to have it stop on the other side. So to do that, you just click on this and oh, I can't see. I think it's one. Yep. So it's going to stop on this side instead of the other side. That way it can go into the correct track as needed. And you can technically change the Denver track as well. So they're stopping on opposite sides. And if I was smart, I'd copy this train since it's opposite of the one following it. And I'd copy this one one more time for the time being. So Denver, as you can see, still has 15 meat to export. We have dual tracks all the way down to North Plate. I'm going to run one train to all three stations to help supply the meat. There we go. Okay, so we got cattle being delivered to Denver currently. We got meat being delivered to Cheyenne currently, which is good. So we got those two tasks going. Now we need to connect 150,000 people to your rail network is really the, uh, well, actually, no, we need to do 1867 first. So we need to reach a population of 30,000 in Cheyenne first and connect Omaha to Rock Springs next. So Rock Springs, where is it? All the way over there. We're going to have to connect to Casper and then Rock Springs with two stations is what we'll end up doing. This guy's doing pretty good, hauling quite a bit to Cheyenne. I'm going to go ahead and copy this train. Well done. The citizens of Denver are impressed by the railroad. And you can see we're doing it in half time. It's very important you get the yellow check marks. If you get a green check mark, it means you didn't do it in half time, and there's no way to get the president's medal. All right, so Cheyenne. Let's see what else Cheyenne needs. It needs grain, corn, wood, meat, and obviously it's making beer. So let's try to get it corn is what we really need. It's a long way for a corn farm. There's one up here that I could get to. Is there anyone closer than that? Uh, right here. This would be a much better option because we have dual tracks all the way to Cheyenne instead of trying to run it from over here or even way out at Evans Farm. So let's go ahead and do just a simple small train station and we'll run it straight into there
We're going to try to start watching our money because we're out of bonds. Still got to set up the signaling, which we'll do right here. Make it a little bit, a little bit better. There we go. And so Denver is going to need corn too, I believe. So we're just going to run probably two trains back and forth. Go there, and then to Cheyenne, and we can run it back to Denver so it's not wasting that entire track. And might just run one straight to Cheyenne to speed up the process. So let's go ahead and start another one. Run this straight to Cheyenne, again back down to Denver. There we go. That's Denver to Cheyenne, going back and forth. Probably need to do it so it starts on the other side. So I'm going to go to set up this line. Denver to Cheyenne needs to be on... Oh, they're going to North Plate too, never mind. It's on the right track. I was going to switch the tracks, but it's going to North Plate and back, so I'll leave it. So Denver has, looks like, too much meat. And then let's see if Cheyenne has too much. Yeah, has plenty in stock compared to what it actually needs. The other option would be to run it down to like Norfolk, who already has too much meat because Omaha is making meat as well. So I'm going to leave it. Might connect to that just because it will pay for itself. The connection bonuses always help. So we'll just do a small train station here. And then I'm not there. Let's see if it will let me do it real quick. There we go. When it gives you that little yellow signal right there it usually means you can run the track but it's not working for some reason let me see uh, maybe if I did it up here let me try this it's weird let me delete this track just to try something else. Build it like this. And will it let me run across? Nope. It's kind of strange why it won't let me do that. If I run this all the way down, then what we'll do? It's a waste of money, but let me try it. There it goes. I guess you got to run the track far enough past it to make it believe that you can do that connection. Same thing, build the signaling here. I have to change the path of one or two trains, but that's fine. And then actually I need to create the crisscross path here real quick so they can switch tracks as needed. I 
probably need to run grain up to Norfolk too, but first and foremost, let's get a train that's making some money first. Right here and back. Oops. There we go. Let's see how we're doing on our task. Still got plenty of years, so I probably need to work on making some more money. Let me run the double line down to Norfolk. Need to upgrade this station. And you can see we're running out of money pretty quick, which is fine. We got plenty of time. We need 54,000 for that length of track right there. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. Your company has also a research department to help you unlock new locomotives and other innovations. Open the research dialogue to find out more about it. So it wants us to open the Here research. You will find the advances that can be achieved in the current era. Advances from previous eras are usually already active, but what the future holds, we do not know. We increase passengers, obviously, because that's one of our tasks. Innovation points, which you get automatically each month, and which can be increased in various ways. Now take a look around here, and then unlock an innovation of your choosing. I'm gonna unlock How this because some of the other innovations will help me out down here, as far as increasing passengers, as you can see right there. All right, so next thing, let's make the double track here. Again, we've got to make the crisscross path. And then more importantly, we need to make a dual path here as well. Okay, go out. And then signaling again. If you guys need any explanations, feel free to go ahead and comment below. I'm more than happy to give you guys a more detailed explanation of why I'm doing what I'm doing. Again, this may not be the necessarily the best way to do things, but this will easily get you the President's Day Medal for this scenario. And again, we'll be using more advanced techniques in future videos as well. Anyways, those who have been following me for a long, long time have always been asking me where I've been. Um, finally ended up moving into a new house and have a pretty good uh, studio set up now to start recording and potentially doing streaming, but also lack of time with work and kids and everything else. So hope to be online more, um, at least making more videos on YouTube, and eventually I'll see you guys on uh, Twitch as well in the future. So we're going to go ahead and run a train from Bishop Estate down to Norfolk since they need the grain to make the beer. It's going to be a much more lucrative line as soon as we get enough money for a train. And I'll probably end up switching this guy to go back and forth because North Plate's going to end up getting too much grain way too quickly. So let's change him first. He's going to go back to Bishop at the North Plate and then go to Norfolk. And then I want one solely going back and forth from Bishop to Norfolk. Since uh, Norfolk will end up using a lot more grain that way. Alright, so we got those two knocked out as we have already seen. Now we need to connect to over 150,000. And we also need to reach a population of 30,000 in Cheyenne. Which means we got to make sure Cheyenne has what it needs. So far, it has everything it needs, except my we need to connect to more my own cities. Is the only thing I can see. We need to get the Rock Springs, but Rapid City could be more lucrative. Jobs, jobs, jobs. What to do? What to do? I'd say let's go ahead and just do a small train station in Casper. And I'm going to run it on these same two lines on this station that's way overkill. So it's 90,000 
Just want to make sure that the track is laid out correctly. There's no bridges, no tunnels, which there's not. And if we can optimize our line, we definitely will. Want to make sure that we got plenty of cattle going, which we do. And plenty of corn, which I'm sure we do as well to all the cities. No city is getting too backed up, which is important to watch out for. I guess the other option would be going straight to Rock Springs through here. But I'd rather go through Casper to get both cities along the way. Okay, that train's running all right. Just trying to check on how some of these trains are doing. Train seems to be doing good, just delivering corn. We could always deliver corn all the way. Well, no, because we don't have that great of a setup from Norfolk to Omaha. I was going to run corn down to North Plate, but we have a corn station right here. If this ever gets a connection bonus, we'd probably do it, but I'm not going to do it for the time being. I'm more worried about getting the task complete. So there we go, 90,000. Go ahead and connect it. I need to start spending money on both trains, supply towers, and probably another maintenance building somewhere down here if I don't have one. Otherwise, the trains will start breaking down pretty rapidly. I have to wrangle with a lot of competitors, but if one person really gets on my nerves, then it's that Beatrix von Pomp. What? You haven't encountered it yet? Be glad. She takes everyone to the cleaners. And before I even do the supply station, I'm going to buy the train first since the train will actually make me money. Or at least hopefully make me money. And then we're going to run this from Cheyenne. And I'll probably have it stop here in both directions. That way we're not wasting anything. Just in case if the train leaves Cheyenne not completely full it will pick up uh, some grain some logs before going to Casper which is pretty important go ahead and add a supply tower let's we'll put this in the middle and then we're gonna use some generic signaling on this for the time being so still waiting for the clearance Probably being maintenance right there. And if Denver doesn't have a maintenance building, we definitely need a maintenance building here with all these locomotives. And obviously it says we need a supply tower, which we don't even have down here. Well, it's on that side. Maybe let's do this. It'll give us back the full cost, and we'll just put the supply tower right here. That way all locomotives on this line are serviced properly. So already Cheyenne to cook chopping, which is, oh, no, that's the wrong one. No, that's the right one. It's going up to Casper. So you can see there's one cart here left, and it will stop at cook chopping prior to going to Casper to make sure it's a full delivery. Let's go ahead and follow it since we've got some time. Of course, it has to have a breakdown in front of us, unfortunately. <laughs> Excellent. Cheyenne is becoming a major All right, Cheyenne's good. Next step is we need to get connect to Rock Springs. And then we also need to get 150000 on the rail network, which we're pretty close to already. Again, relatively easy scenario. Go ahead and upload these. These will help out with the passengers. And income for that matter. Uh, you know what I should have done? I should have ran just a second track like this. There we 
it goes. Now I'll just pass by instead of trying to go through that one track. So it's going to stop. It should load either the grain or the wood. It shows wood in this case. And you can see missing equipment means there's either a missing supply or we need to maintenance that train. I think it's going to be a maintenance issue. So let's go ahead and add the maintenance building here in Denver. And then we can go ahead and connect to Rock Springs, it looks like. So let's go ahead and use the small train station. And we're not going to have enough money to build the track per se, but we can go ahead and plan it out. So we want to go probably above here. There we go. It's going to cost 106,000 to run that last bit of track. Yeah, all these are getting breakdowns because they're not being maintained properly. Either way, this train should make quite a bit of money when it gets there, given it's carrying beer. What I say? It costs 106000 Okay, so just so you know, when you're planning track, it does pause the game. But if you pre-plan the track and go back to track construction, it automatically keeps what you planned in there until you hit the clear planning. So the nice thing about it is you can just run the game until you have the amount of money you need, and then go back in there. It's already pre-planned for what you've been trying to do or want to do. following this in the Casper. So there's a whole lot of other things that we'll end up going into later on, like the stock market. Obviously, the bonds help out quite a bit. But it won't be for this scenario. Obviously, we're making pretty good money for the stage we're at. We got a pretty big line, as you can tell, for how many minutes we've been playing the game, which isn't isn't that long? What, about 45 minutes or so? All right, going back, we already got a full full load, even though it'll still stop at Cook Chopping. It's not going to load anything there prior to going to Cheyenne. All right, got enough money for that. Know that many people call the vast stretch of land between the Mississippi and California the Great American So we're way ahead of schedule. We're only in 1863, which is before even the first task is needed. Will go through the roof. Now you've managed to cross the Great Plains, a masterpiece. I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to add a supply tower on here. And I want to do a dual track on this bit of line. And I'll probably run it from... Ah, it's hard to say. I'll go from Rock Springs to Casper down to Cheyenne and back. Along with probably hitting the cook chopping again. Just to make sure we have as much on that train as possible. But first and foremost, we need a double track on here. And I don't want to make it expensive. Probably 50000 That's a pretty good bit of that track. That's double wide. So we'll wait till we get about 50000 on that. So we can increase the number of packages in each city. We can increase the time passengers wait in cities. And also increase the transportation fee. I'm going to go ahead and increase the amount of time that passengers wait for trains which hopefully ensures we get more trains on each um, on each train going from place to place. All right, so what's the final task? Transport 100 passengers from Cheyenne to Rock Springs without stopping. So they kind of made up our mind. If we're going to go from Cheyenne to Rock Springs with the passenger-only line, which I'll show you how to go ahead and set up right now. So on this, when you're planning the route, make sure to go ahead and select passengers and mail only. You can do freight only, you can do manual or automatic. Again, passengers and mail only because we have to get passengers back and forth without stopping. And we're not going to stop at Cook Chopping or Casper. We're just going to go straight there. There we go. 
And as soon as I get double lines on both of these sections, I'll probably start a second train to go ahead and close out that last scenario. There we go. Track construction. Let me go ahead and add it there. Oops, did I do that wrong? Yeah, I did that horribly wrong. Let's try that again. There we go. Same thing on the other side. And then we just want to add the signalings for one way on each side. Don't need a whole lot of signals on here. It's kind of pointless with how many trains we're going to be running before the game is over. And then we're going to do the same thing in this section as well. So we can run two trains on this path. So I'm going to wait for about 34,000 it looks like before running that. Okay, I already got the 34,000. Perfect, and perfect. Again, if I was playing this game, oops, switch the way that goes, to make as much money as possible, I'd do things a lot differently. I would start smaller, but the whole goal in this game is to complete the task as quickly as possible, so... We're way, way ahead of schedule as we talked about already, which is nice. There we go. I'm going to run another train from... Oh, I need a little bit more money. From Rock Springs down to Cheyenne. Again, it's going to be passenger only, even though it would probably supply Rock Springs with beer, which would make a lot more money. So, got the money. Go ahead and buy another train. Again, Rock Springs to Cheyenne without stopping is what we're doing. Passengers and mail only. Save and exit. And we only got one load of passengers. I forgot what each one counts for. Um, if we can catch the train as it gets further up, I'll definitely check on that. But Did the train leave yet? There we go. This one only has one passenger card as well so we'll see what each one counts for it's probably like eight towards our task is my assumption so we need to grow either Cheyenne or Rock Springs is really what we need to do and Cheyenne already makes beer so it'd be nice to make beer here and then connect that but it's kind of pointless doing that what else can we make Meat, weaving factories, sawmills. What does Cheyenne need? Does Cheyenne need anything? Let's see. It does need cloth, but not a whole lot of it. it needs sugar. It doesn't need anything that's really manufactured, unfortunately. And making cloth here would be kind of a pain in the ass because it's going to have to come from this field all the way over there and then back to Cheyenne. Do we really want to do that? Probably not. So that first train's right there, going to Rock Springs. Let's go check on our other system, see how things are going. Full deliveries are important. If this was full, I'd probably add a third train to slowly ramp up the production, but it's not. I don't know why this is coming back when it's full. I guess probably because it's going to Cheyenne afterwards. That's unfortunate. It's not going to pick up any corn. So it's kind of wasting its time coming all the way up here and then back down. But neither, neither here or there. And then sometimes running trains back and forth as an express train is also a good idea. might copy that train. Cheyenne the North Plate. We're doing okay. I'll go ahead and set up another line that will make some money. It's gonna basically go from Norfolk to North Plate. And back. There we go, you can see how much mail needs to go out. Alright, so in here, let's go ahead so we have some money, build a maintenance building. 
I'm sure this train is going to need maintenance pretty bad by the time it gets there. You can see it's stopping at the supply tower already. Shows the condition, how it's looking on sand, oil, and water, and then the suitability for an express train, which will come later on. So this only has one card on it, as we talked about earlier. Let's see what it gives us towards the task. Again, we got, what, four years to do it. We want to try to do it in about two years, if we can, to get 100 passengers back and forth without stopping. Let's see. What does it give us? Eight. So each cart is eight, like I thought. Now it's just a matter of expanding this station to get more passengers here and figuring out what this place needs. It's only leaving with one, which is that's kind of unfortunate, but it's part of the game. Let's go ahead and supply Rock Springs with corn. And then a grain right here since this is close by. So to do that, if we did a large, would it do both or not? Nope. We'll do two small train stations. And then we'll wait for some money to actually build the tracks. Kind of curious. This is the other Rock Springs Cheyenne. I don't mind running that into the other side. There we go, just to speed things up there. This will run in the bottom. Just get some more. A better traffic flow until we get later into the game, which we'll talk about down the road. All right, let's see what this one leaves with. I think it's going to be kind of a telltale sell of how long the scenario will take. Hopefully, it's leaving with more passengers this time. Just one again. All right. Well, it's not exciting, is it? Let's get this up to Rock Springs and increase. The size of Rock Springs is really what we're trying to do right now. I'm just going to run, run, run one train for the time being. I think I'm going to run a train from uh, Casper to Rock Springs as well main of getting more passengers that need to go from rock springs to cheyenne is my hope doing that hopefully this isn't a bad idea we'll find out here in a minute that's not loading a whole lot unfortunately So that one's full of corn. I think the next go around I'll probably end up adding grain there. I don't need any signals, although I could put some on here. It's kind of pointless. Actually, it may not be because if a train was on this line and it was set to go into here, this train wouldn't come up to here without that signal. It would stop back at the Anderson Preserve. So I guess it is kind of important that we added that one signal there at least. And if I can, I want to expand this coming in. Let's see how much that would cost. Put that there. Not too much. Let's go ahead and do it. And then we'll... Is there a train there? No. Before the train passes by the uh, supply station right there. And we'll just upgrade the signaling since there's no longer here. The 
this will bring it all the way up to the station which is good I didn't do the cross path either so it doesn't it doesn't have an option to block this train's path I thought I had a, a cross platform right there so my hope is this train will increase the size of Rock Springs I don't know if just doing that one train will will actually do it or not but we'll find out here in a minute I hope it said it would another cool thing is you can easily find the trains right here so Casper to Rock Springs and then I guess the other one would be maybe Rock Springs to Cheyenne. Both only have one set of passengers. And on our task list, we got only eight so far. So one train hasn't even gone through. I think we're gonna change this platform for this guy. Speed the process up a bit. Uh, did he already pull in the wrong one? Uh, I should. I think I did it too late. Let's see if I can change this guy before he gets there. Hopefully that fixed it. He should pull in there. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Clear up some of the traffic. I'll probably do the same thing for this guy. Another shine in the Rock Springs. Another thing is too is to unlock the express train if we can get it, but we need two more innovations. And really there's no easy way to get to that train without doing some of these innovations so that would do a second innovation it's basically 300 either way I'm gonna go ahead and go to this one there is a quick way to upgrade all your trains too if you go into the engine shed you can replace a train or you can replace all your locomotives if I replace all my locomotives it would cost 530,000 I don't have that quite yet, but it might be a good idea to go ahead and replace it. Express line in danger, no problem. I guess I can go ahead and change this just one to the dragon since it's a little bit faster. Let's see, has Rock Springs grown? Got two passengers waiting. And let me go ahead and upgrade the two trains going from Rock Springs to Cheyenne as well. So you just go to manage train, upgrade that. Where's the other one at? There it is. I guess we could send wood down to Rock Springs. Wood and grain from there would help out as well. Let's go ahead and set one of those up. So cook chopping. I'll have it stop in Rock Springs only and come back to Casper is what we're going to do. Obviously, adding Grand Junction to Rock Springs may help the passengers getting to Cheyenne. I'm trying to see if there's anything else we can do. It's Casper to Rock Springs. It's taking a lot of passengers. Hopefully, it's not taking our passengers that were waiting to go to Cheyenne. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to have to delete that train. 
Yeah, just one more. Yeah, we're only at 17 people, 1864. I think the next step would be basically to upgrade the station, make it dual track all the way down would be helpful. Or we could replace all the trains too. So there's two good options. We might replace all the trains first and then do the upgrading station. 487 is what I need. Actually, this is stopping the flow of traffic pretty bad. Let's go ahead and do this first. Wait till this guy gets in to the station. Upgrade it, then I'll fix the lines real quick on both sides. So this is a pretty neat little tip and trick. You can either put supply towers on each side to delete the track. Or you can actually make a side track here to delete. I'm just going to do two towers since I have enough money. And I'll show you why I'm doing this here in just a second. So basically I can delete this track without deleting anything that's on the line, if that makes sense. Then I'll delete that. Delete that as well, get my money back. Then we're going to run the dual tracks. So this one's going to be on the bottom. I'm going to delete this. I can't delete that yet. Hmm. Let's see. I might have to delete one train, which I really don't want to delete that one. Yeah, I can't run that until I do it either. That's all right. I might have to just re remake that. I'd hate to delay the task at hand, but it's going to have to happen, I think. Let's see, let's go ahead and fix this side as well. Is there anything on that line? This one will be easy to do because there's nothing all the way to the supply tower. So that side's easily done. Let's go ahead and do the signaling and tracks on this side real quick before I forget. Okay. Let's spread them out fairly far. So that's dual all the way till it gets to that point, which is fine. Good, that's what I want with this train to go through. I don't mind deleting this if I need to. Alright. Go ahead and start this. And then we need to delete the supply tower here. Let me see which train this is. So I could reset up cook chopping to Casper. Got it. So I'm going to actually, if you get off the track, I can do what I need to do. Perfect. Wait till he gets into the Station there. Get another second or so. And fix that track right there. There 
we go. Didn't have to delete anything, which is nice. Probably could run Rapid City to both Casper and Rock Springs, which would help out on the passengers. Oh, I need to run. Got one more thing to do. I didn't do full double track all the way yet. It's close, but no cigar. There we go. All right, much better. I oh, still need the tracks on this side too, though. So obviously replacing the locomotives would help out. I think connecting to Rock Springs down to Rapid City or up to Rapid City would help out as well. I was really hoping to grow Rock Springs is what I was trying to do. They got plenty of corn. They need wood. They need meat. Which let's do just a regular train from Cheyenne down the rock springs which should be full of meat the first to go around or actually every go around for that matter if you'll ever get clearance and Cheyenne's one of those cities where you might want to end up making a um, train station with signaling control I'm not going to do it unless this train doesn't get out here in a minute let's see what it would cost to upgrade all of our locomotives 500,000 a little bit too steep for me right now. I feel like I want to kill this one that's taking some of those passengers away. Although it's making money, which is nice. I really need to make this a true dual station right here as well. All right, it's still running with one, that's unfortunate. I'm going to have to wait until I get 300 points to do this, and then actually it would reduce the locomotive price, but then I can get the express train, which is what I really need for those passengers to leave. Let me just check. Eh, so we're a quarter of the way there. It's only 1864. We should be fine. I think more importantly, I'm going to go ahead and wait till I get that innovation to reduce the price of locomotives and I'm going to go ahead and connect to Rapid City don't want a tunnel Oof. that is a steep incline and decline is there a way around it though there we go that's much better a little bit longer of a route, but definitely a lot better as far as routing goes. Should probably make sure I have supply towers everywhere. I haven't looked at that in a minute. And maintenance buildings as well. Let's go ahead and add a supply tower here. And then I gotta do the signaling. I'm gonna spread these out quite a bit though. Try to speed up the process for you guys so you're not watching a two hour long video of me laying signals for any reason. There we 
go. See, if I had the Express, I would have eight per week going to Cheyenne, I believe. I can't remember if it's an innovation or if I just need this. Let me look. I feel like it was an innovation, but I could be wrong. Really need to get 300 points. We got 120 as of right now. I could run from Cheyenne to Rapid City, which would help out a little bit just to start making more money. So to do that, just run these like that. And just got to fix the signals real quick. enough okay So yeah, Cheyenne's kind of getting backlogged, but if we do what we need to do, we could actually free it up just a bit. that really need that let's see how we're doing on our task still 26 almost feel like running two more trains even if they're only carrying one person back and forth I think I'm going to do it really need to set this up properly but it's not really running enough trains through it to do so So I got supply towers there. Got a couple there. I think I'm doing okay. Connection bonus of 150. Yes, we will do that and make it work one way or another. Might actually help out as far as getting passengers up to Rock Springs. We're just gonna have to make. Some double sections is what we're going to have to do. And I could technically run the track around. These stations to make it a little bit quicker, which would be probably the smart thing to do, but it's going to make it easy for the time being.
uh, be nice to run. I guess since it's passing through anyways, we might as well, right? There we go. That should bring some passengers to Rock Springs. Hopefully Rock Springs will have more passengers go into Cheyenne and Rock Springs just grew, which is nice. That's what we wanted. There's Foster Preserve and Anderson Preserve, okay. Oof. Being serviced. Getting closer to the 300, which we reduced the price of locomotives by 30%. That's probably when we need to upgrade all of the locomotives. I think these guys are still bogged down with meat, which is fine. Cheyenne's growing. Not bogged up by trains either. A lot of times when you're running a lot of trains, it's hard to get them through the cities depending on how you have the lines set up. And really the next scenarios kind of go into that in a little bit more detail. So 35 people so far. Cheyenne, or excuse me, Rock Springs just grew and Cheyenne just grew. So... I was hoping more passengers would be going back and forth, which doesn't seem to be the case quite yet. Let's see, can we, what else can we do? What does Rock Springs need, I guess is the case. It needs meat. Which I think, where is it at? Rapid City has plenty. Let's go ahead and do another line for that. And it'll be freight only. Actually, it could be both. To Rock Springs. There we go. I think processed meat is a higher value than passengers and mail. In fact, let me upgrade put a maintenance building here so not everybody is serviced at Rock Springs got so close actually if I got that I can get the express train right oh it's a hard choice I was so close I'm gonna do it just so I can buy the express train and then upgrade the trains that I need so obviously we want the Rock Springs to Cheyenne or Cheyenne the Rock Springs too would be nice. Let's go ahead and update this. And that should really get people on board. Need to upgrade this one. And we got one more. I think it starts with Rock Springs. There we go. These two actually. My hope is that this will allow for the express line passengers to hop on board. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but we'll find out. That one's probably being loaded too late before it realized the change. So I think what I need to check is up here. See how much it would cost to update all of our locomotives. I don't want to change all those to that. And the problem is it's going to replace everything. I just want to replace the dragon, not that one. So there we go. Only 4,000, that's not right. Let me see which one we're replacing. Oh, there we go, Philadelphia 060, so there we go, that's right. And that shouldn't have replaced our express locomotives, but let me just double check. Uh, there we go. 
has not, so that's good. What's this guy sitting here for, though? Probably waiting for him. Alright, there's the express lines going pretty quickly. We're almost halfway to 1865. We've got till 1868 to complete that task. We make a few more supply towers. Just for the heck of it. There we go. Just to help everything out a little bit. As far as maintenance wise. And there's passengers getting to Rock Springs. Hopefully some of these passengers want to go to Cheyenne. We are about to find out, though, as soon as this guy gets there. So in here, it's saying that nine passengers per week want to go to Cheyenne. Again, I don't know if I have express trains unlocked or not. It's only two passengers waiting here. If this guy takes two passengers, does that mean that... Well, there's, luckily there's beer, so he's not removing any passengers which is nice let's see what this guy does there's only two waiting from the looks of it kinda curious okay, this guy's taking strictly beer which is nice we got two trains waiting to pick up passengers which means this guy's probably not going to have anything to take, unfortunately. Unless it counts as an express line, which I don't think it will. Let's find out. Maybe you guys can explain it below on the whole express line as well. Being serviced? What are you doing? Yeah, being serviced. Take a look at this. There's even faster. I need six unlocked. Let's go ahead and reduce the maintenance cost. Ah, so just one. Yep, that's all that was waiting. Even though this one says nine, oh, nine per week right there. Hopefully this will get another one. We shall see. Yeah, just one. But each one's carrying one, which will eventually hit to 100. I might even make two more trains just for the heck of it. I know we're probably losing money on these guys. Okay, I'll set it up for Rock Springs to Cheyenne. Thank you for the tips and tricks. I appreciate that. See how many passengers this guy loads up on from Cheyenne. Being serviced. Probably just one, if one. I don't see it loading anything. That's scary. That guy didn't load anything at all. Hmm, interesting. But this guy left with one. I'm going to go ahead and clone this guy again. See if he leaves with another one. Either way, we're getting there, guys. 61 of 100. No, it's kind of a boring video at this point considering I did everything else. I'm curious to see what metal I get. I should easily get 
the President's Medal by doing this. I didn't do a whole lot. I could do a lot more given the time span, but it's obviously enough. Let's see if they get to clearance. I could fix this all up to make it a little bit better or a larger station, but let's go ahead and upgrade it. It may help with how many passengers are waiting. Who knows? I got left with one. Hopefully this guy leaves with one as well. one so once all those guys get into their stations we should be closing this out I guess for good faith I can go ahead and clone that train again we'll leave with another one so yeah we'll definitely be hitting the final task here shortly to run this guy differently I can it's gonna stay on the bottom line oh well there's some connection bonuses out there 205 I guess Cheyenne probably needs cotton right Oh, nope. What is it? I guess Casper's the only person that needs it. But there's a cotton farm right there. Wow, well, we got some time while we wait. Might as well do something, right? It's gonna make this super simple. All the way up to Casper. There we go. Don't know if Denver needs any cotton. Nope. I almost feel like deleting some of these trains just so we can speed this process up. So Cheyenne, we'll put them on this line make it go a little quicker got a ton of the express trains as I call them or at least the passenger trains going out there there's the next one about to hit That'll bring us to 79 right there. Should have brought us to 79. I'm not sure why it didn't.
Let's see what that does. There it goes. I guess it just took a minute to update. 84. Just need two or three more to hit. Looks like we've got some up here. At least one up there and I think one or two more down here. So we're, we're fine. It's about to close out. I'm sure there's probably an easier way to get more passengers back and forth from these two cities. I'm assuming it just has to do with building up both cities, but I could be wrong. Should update in a minute. And it should be the end of the scenario here any second as well. There it goes. It should be it, hopefully. That's a different train, actually. There they are. To wait and to unload, and I should have some pretty close up there. There we go. One, two. So as soon as these trains get in there, we'll be good. Plenty of money. In fact, we could probably, before the scenario ends, if we get a chance. Go ahead and pay back our bond. Ninety four. Need six more people. Come on, baby. Let's get it. Progress is enormous. Perfect. Chapter was a success, but what's important is what we actually scored on it. Watch a little video just so you guys can see it if you want to. All right, guys, that's the President's Medal, level 30, I guess. Highest you can get, and that's how to complete the very first chapter of the campaign. Obviously, I could have done a lot more. I could have, laid a, or could have made a lot more money and a lot more connections, but it's not really needed. We'll get into some more advanced tactics in the future. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching the Middle Age Gamer, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers. Don't you know?